Hey guys, after a lot of research, I have decided I'm going to use cayenne pepper for my hair just to do an experiment to see how it will work for my hair. But before we get to that, cayenne pepper has a lot of names uh, and they include Louisiana long pepper, Guinea spice pepper, cow horn pepper, a liver bud pepper, red pepper, especially in powder form like this, African pepper, ancho pepper and Tabasco pepper. And the botanical name for cayenne pepper is Capsicum annum or Capsicus frutenus and it has about 0.1 to 1.5 percent of capsaicin. Now capsaicin is the compound that gives cayenne pepper its heat or that hot burning sensation and this is what makes cayenne pepper a potent stimulant. And high capsaicin in cayenne pepper is what sets it apart from its cousins which include paprika, Hungarian pepper and the red and green peppers. And just to keep things here in perspective, cayenne pepper has about 30 to 50,000 uh, heat units on average that's how hot it is although it can go up to about 80,000 but in comparison to some of the world's hottest peppers this is nothing for example the habaneros and the scotch bonnets measure about 300,000 heat units and the red savina measures about five 500,000 heat units and of course the top contenders include the Naga Jalokia and the Naga Viper over both with over 1.3 million heat units heat units on um, how hot they are so really cayenne pepper is hot but in comparison to the other peppers it's not that hot now for the hair the capsaicin content will create a tingling sensation on the scalp in the hair follicle the tingling sensation is in fact electric signals uh, to the papilla or the hair root that's located at the base of the hair follicle the papilla has a dense network of blood capillaries that feed the hair strand with nutrient-rich blood in order for hair to grow properly. When blood flow from the papilla to the hair follicle decelerates, hair growth will also follow suit. And cayenne pepper works by resolving or jump-starting the blood flow from the papilla or the hair root to the hair follicle. And this movement uh, transports nutrient-rich blood from the, from the hair root to the hair follicle and this creates an ideal environment for hair growth. I have no idea whether my hair, whether my blood flow is sluggish, but I guess we'll find out. Now it's important here to mention that this oil, or any oil for that matter, will not make your hair grow. Your hair growth is genetically wired when you were born, or rather when you were conceived. So if your hair grows at half an inch a month, there's really not much you can do to change that. However, most of us don't realize our max uh, genetic growth rate because of a lot of elements that interfere with it. You know, diet, stress, hormones, toxins, all sorts of things interfere with it and so if your blood flow is sluggish, this oil might be able to help. Now from the recipes I've read, I came up with my own and I just used two tablespoons of cayenne pepper with a uh, coconut oil. I love coconut oil because of how it extracts uh, the nutrients from the herbs and as you can see I ended up with a vibrant rich uh, oil and I added about half a cup of uh, olive oil to it because that's very concentrated. The recipe that I read called for two tablespoons to one cup so I decided to add just a half a cup of olive oil to bring the total to one cup to two tablespoons of uh, cayenne pepper and as you can see it's a really really beautiful vibrant oil. It's also hot so you want to be careful with it and I will also be at the same time ingesting um, cayenne pepper peels uh, cayenne pepper uh, capsules and I'm gonna make this myself and the recommended dose is about 495 milligrams so I will be making that and I will show you those on a different video so I can combat blood flow both internally and externally so this is how I will be using the cayenne pepper probably uh, every Friday before the usual mud wash or maybe once midweek i'm not sure yet uh, but i will just be using it and leaving it uh, for a couple of hours and then washing it out if i can stand it so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for how this works bye